In this video, we're going to learn how to read all of the contents of a file into a single string in C++. So here I have a file with multiple lines of content. And what I want to do is read the entire file contents into a single string. So the first thing we'll do is include the fstream library. This will allow me to make an ifstream object to open the file. We'll also include the ssstream library so that we can create a string stream object to help us read the file. Next, we'll create an ifstream object with ifstream file, and then we'll open the file with the open method. So we'll have file.open file.txt. We'll check to make sure the file was opened successfully. So we'll say if file.fail is true, this means there was a problem opening the file. And in that case, we'll output an error message here, file failed to open, followed by an end line, and then we'll return one as an error status. So we can save this, and if we change the file name here to bad file that doesn't exist, then if we compile and run this program, we should get the error message. So we'll try it out here, and we get file failed to open as expected. So we'll change this back to file.txt, and let's keep going here. So next we're going to make our string stream object and we'll call it buffer. Next we'll use the rdbuf method of the ifstream object as well as the stream insertion operator to read the file contents into the string stream buffer. So we'll have buffer stream insertion operator and then file.rdbuf. So the rdbuf method is going to return a pointer to the stream buffer object associated with the file ifstream object, and the stream insertion operator will read all of the contents of the file into the string stream buffer. Next, to read the string from the string stream buffer, we'll create a string called file underscore contents, and we'll use the str method to actually store the string into file contents. So we'll have buffer.str. Finally, we can output the file contents. So we'll have cout, and we'll output the file contents. And then we'll also close the file. So we'll have file.close. And if we save our program, recompile it, and then run it, we do get the file contents here. Now there are actually many other ways we could solve this problem, but this is one of the shortest and easiest ways we can read all the contents of a file into a string in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.